Day in the Marketing Man Moscow here, and we're talking about YouTube thumbnails. And this is the third part of our YouTube video optimization playlist. If you missed the other parts, please check them out. So the first thing here is your thumbnail is really like the cover of a book. And what we're going to do here is we're going to look at this. We're going to actually talk about how to create it, uh, what it should include, and then also we're going to go ahead and change a couple of these thumbnails. And I'm also going to share with you uh, about the generator uh, here. But let's go ahead and talk the first part here it's really just like the cover of a book you know like this video here you know one of mine learn SEO basics it makes sense you know it's it's a lot more compelling to have an image of your website you know here's <laughs> by default your videos won't have a custom thumbnail instead it will look something like this and we're gonna change the thumbnail for this video uh, this is a video about how to start writing a book we've actually written a book about how to start writing or how to write a book uh, but the idea is none of these thumbnails and these are the default thumbnails none of these three really represent the title very well and according to the YouTube creator playbook we'll include a link in the description below to check that out the idea with the thumbnail is you want it to represent the content in your video, be relevant, but it also should be compelling. It should incite some interest and it should try and get a little bit more attention because each one of these listings, and you can see the thumbnails of the videos on your screen along the right of this video. Uh, I'm sure you've seen it before, but the idea is the thumbnail can help to generate some more views and some more traffic and some more people that actually click to look at what you have. And let us go ahead and mention the specs. Uh, this is the size of it and you should do a 640 pixel by 360 pixel otherwise you'll have a thumbnail that looks a little bit more like this where it's got the black bars either on the sides or the top you know it's not the end of the world but I just want you to know first of all let me just mention the way I made mine is really kind of the quick dirty easy way it's just using the pages feature and then adding a shape and some text you know you can do what you want with that the uh, you know just follow their rules and make sure that it represents your content and let's go ahead and just mention this real quick there are some YouTube generator thumbnails out there but all they do is take these three images and they just make them a little bit easier which I don't see the purpose or point of so <laughs> unfortunately I don't think you'll be able to use that very well if I'm wrong or there's something that's changed please let us know so I can pass it along what you want to do is actually click the custom thumbnail and then go to wherever you have your image created and what we're gonna do is just go ahead and click on this one we're gonna just see how this looks and uh, the idea though of course is to have it representative of your title and the information that's inside of what it is you have now that doesn't look all that great so what we're gonna do is go ahead and change it and all you have to do is just click on it again and we're gonna grab this one and <laughs> I'll be the first to admit these aren't great thumbnails you know it, I'm really just it's more for this example and we'll see how well this converts the idea is this should help to create more clicks uh, we'll see the only way to find out any of this stuff is to test test different items test different things see what actually works and you can see what works by looking at your analytics which we're going to go through here in a next in an upcoming video not the next so one so please subscribe and join our congregation so to save it all you have to do is click save changes once you save it it <laughs> It typically takes a few minutes to become live, but this one actually was live here just instantly. Uh, you can see how it's changed here. You know, <laughs> there's really no way to tell, and, and I'll be the first one to say, you know, this isn't all that great, but a way to include a thumbnail is to actually write what is in your video, you know, <laughs> write the title again. Like, that might not be the most creative way, but, you know, it is a way to do it. Uh, so like I said, the best one we saw was the monetization video. That wasn't ours, but it just had piles of cash. And then, you know, it had, again, the title right in the middle of it, which we thought was really, really pretty good. So if you'd like to know some more, please check out our 
website, damnmoscowuniversity.com. We'll include a link in the description below. We currently have a free report we're giving away. If you guys like this video, please subscribe and join our congregation. You can also find any one of our eight books now, including Video Marketing for Entrepreneurs, available at Amazon, iTunes, Barnes & Noble, on the Kindle Nook, and in audio book. Please have a fantastic afternoon and looking forward to talking to you again here soon. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them below.